Gravity is a mysterious force. It binds every single body together in the universe. It also allows us to exist here on the earth. But it boils down to a simple question. How do objects fall? In fact, all mysteries of gravity contains in this simple action, dropping an object. To understand it, I'm going to take you 1590. At University of Pisa, where a 26-year-old man, a 26-year-old mathematics professor Draw feather and hammer at the same time from the same height. I'm gonna do the same experiment from Columbia University. Welcome to Columbia University. I pursue my doctoral here at Columbia University. So people are gonna call me Dr. Ben. The reason I bring you over here to do a famous experiment was done 1590, some 400 years ago by Galileo. To understand the behavior of falling body. Now I have a, a heavy object on my one hand and a light object on my other hand. When I drop them at the same time, they will start falling and we'll try to understand their behavior. Now let's do that. Now some people would say that hammer touches the ground faster because it has more mass or it has more weight. But Mass or weight has nothing to do with it, ear resistance. If you can remove the ear resistance, then heavier and lighter objects would fall at the same rate, touch the ground at the same time. I will demonstrate it by using two umbrellas, same size, same mass and same weight. They would fall at the same rate and touch the ground at the same time, but what if I open one umbrella? Then the open umbrella will fall slower. Now another puzzle is speed. To understand the speed of a falling body, Galileo again drop. But it's, it's, it's pretty difficult to, to, to see whether object fall with constant speed or it picks up the speed as it getting closer and closer and closer to the ground. So Galileo did a very clever experiment. He dropped an object from very close to the to the glass and he did the same thing from higher up and he saw a big difference that tells us that the falling body travels quadratically and is speeds up and it gets closer and closer and closer to the ground because there is a mysterious force called gravity that supply the supply the acceleration which we call acceleration due to gravity which is constant